The Queen's Beast. The White Horse of Hanover. Our first stop takes us to Summit Lake State Park, located in central Indiana. You are here. The White Horse of Hanover. And this would be the ninth in the silver series of the two ounce versions from the Royal Mint of the 10 that they're releasing for the Queen's Beast. And I love the design, very, very beautiful. So, about this beast. Well, in 1714, the British throne was passed over to George of Hanover. He was also known as George I. And with him, he brought some of the heraldry from that time, including the White Horse of Hanover. The horse is a small part of George I's royal arms, although it still held significant importance, as well as appearing on military uniforms of that period. Enough of the coin for a moment. Let's take in that blue, blue water. I just thought this would be a nice spot to feature this coin in front of. Our next and final destination is not too far from where we live, on the White River, Delaware County, Indiana. You are here. Here we are on the banks of the White River in Indiana. Uh, one more fact that I found very interesting about the White Horse of Hanover, and I read this right from the Royal Mint site. If you've ever wondered why there are so many establishments called the White Horse, it's due to a tradition in Britain of naming public houses after symbols and heraldic badges, the perfect expression of loyalty to the new ruling dynasty. I thought that was pretty cool. So I know it's been a little while since I had released a Queen's Beast video. I've had the two coins for some time now, but it's just been so hard to try to get back into work and get life going again with all the COVID going around and everything. And, uh, well, finally got around to it. And part of the reason was I had to shoot parts of this video again. Like in the beginning, we had the first eight coins that were all sitting in the box. We were able to shoot all those elements to place in each different video each time and there were two coins missing at the time so once we got the two coins we had to reshoot the whole opening of the box again replicate try to replicate it like we had in all the other videos to make it continuous and so we finally got around to shooting it all up and there'll be another video out in a week from now to wrap it all up 